Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. The Lord bless you, my dear friends. It's a great pleasure indeed to meet you here again. We thank God for making it possible. It is the day that the Lord has made and we are receiving this day with great rejoicing. We are saying amen to what the Lord has done. And so this morning I have this message that I want to bring across, the message that I've titled The Power of Saying Amen. That word amen is a common word that is used in Christian circles and many other religious outfits. The word amen is a term that is used mostly when somebody is praying and is coming to a close of his prayer, we respond by saying amen. When somebody has read scriptures and is closing down, we respond by saying amen. It is common to understand that we normally say amen as a punctuation mark called full stop. We normally say amen to suggest that we have now come to the end of that session. My dear friend, I want, us, I want to suggest to us this morning that the word amen is a power-packed word. It is a power-packed word. And uh, allow me to read a scripture in the book of Psalms, chapter 115, verses 14 and 15. Actually, it's a benediction that provides us with opportunities of saying amen. And so I want to read this scripture and uh, allow you as you hear the scripture, know exactly where amen should appear in this verse. The Bible says, May the Lord give you increase more and more, you and your children. May you be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and the earth. I believe in your spirit there is a response that is saying amen. And so my brother and my sister, much as we understand how to say amen, it is also good to understand that the word amen is a word that indicates that you are in agreement. You are accepting the position of the declarations that have been made. And so, you don't have to limit yourself. When you hear a man of God speaking and your spirit is agreeing with the word that, is, the word that he has mentioned that is supported by the scriptures and not our personal desires, you say, Amen. When the man of God has made prayers, and in those prayers, you feel like your spirit is agreeing in the middle of this, the prayer. And your spirit is agreeing with the, a declaration that is supported by the word of God. You say, Amen. Amen is not supposed to be a full stop. Amen is supposed to be an, a, a term that enforces, a, a term that shows that you are agreeing by the position that has been declared. And therefore, my dear friend, I want to pray that this day, as we go into our day, we will allow our spirit to be able to hear what God is saying. God will be speaking through many things. He speaks through nature. He speaks through songs, gospel songs. We hear them playing all over. He speaks through people. You can incline your ears to hear the voice of God. And don't, 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 don't force yourself to be so compressed not to say a word, that word amen. Don't allow yourself to be, to be, to be, you know, you, to be so oppressed that you're not free to say the word amen. Say a word, that word amen. You are agreeing. You're saying that I'm agreeing with that position. I'm agreeing with that declaration. I'm agreeing with the word of God. My dear friend, I also want to be quick to make this disclaimer that the word of the word amen is supposed to be said in agreeing with the victorious position. You don't say amen to defeat. You don't say amen to, to, to fear. 
You don't say amen to bad reports. You don't say amen to philosophy and tales and, 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 and parables of this world. You don't say amen to mafumbo na misemo. You say amen to the word of God. And therefore, when you hear the word of God, the word of God being declared, the word of victory, you are free to say amen. And by saying amen, you are agreeing with the position. You are enforcing a position. You are aligning yourself with the word of God. You are saying that I accept, I agree. That word is my word. I take it. It is mine. I accept that position. My dear friend, God will be providing you with, 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 with situations today. Be careful. The word of God says that my sheep hear my voice. They hear my voice. There, may, there, there, there will be many voices, many voices. But you as a child of God, you should be able to pick the voice of the chief shepherd. You should be able to pick the voice of your shepherd. The Bible says that you know his voice. When he's speaking, you know his voice. And when you hear his voice, you are, you'll be saying amen to the voice of the Lord. When you hear his voice through a song, you'll be saying amen. Perhaps through a brother. The, a brother comes your way and says, you're blessed. You say amen to that. And by saying that, you will be agreeing with the word of God. And when we agree with the word of God, the miraculous happen. The miraculous happen. And therefore, my dear friend, I want to release you. I want to allow you to go. But before I do that, allow me to pray with you even as you go into your day. One thing, there will be an opportunity presented for you to you today to say amen. Please, be a good sheep that knows the voice of the shepherd. Say amen to God's word. My dear Father, I want to bless your holy name. I want to give you praise, Lord. Your children, Lord, are preparing for a day for their day. And Lord, I'm releasing them into their day with blessings that they will see you in their day. They will be able to hear your voice, Lord. You will be speaking, Lord. They will be able to hear. They are wise. They are wise. They will be able to hear your voice and uh, say amen to your voice. But that voice of defeat, they are the voice of the enemy, the voice of fear, the voice that, 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 that tells them how, how defeated they are, they will not accept. They will hear the voice of God and they will appreciate the word of God, the voice of God by saying amen, amen to the sheep, amen to the chief shepherd, amen to the word of God. We give you praise, Lord. And therefore, they are released to fruitfulness, they are released to blessing in Jesus' name. The Lord bless you, my dear friend. It was really nice to have you here. Until we meet again, my name is Philip Odera. Stay blessed. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidim Eldoret TV. Our Facebook page is Sidim Eldoret. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidim Eldoret. And our website is eldoret.sidim.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.